Hi everyone, this is part two of our SUPA base Adalo integration. So in part one, what we did is we um, actually integrated the external users collection. And now we're going to actually start putting some things on a screen here. So let's make our first screen for a login. Okay, we're going to create that screen. And since it's our first one, it will have all of the property types there. And we can now we now we can make a custom form. So I'm going to do this pretty fast here. I'm not going to um, spend a ton of time making this a beautiful app, but let's get a email capture here. So email input. Again, this is for login. So we're going to be doing our login call, and this is for email and password I want to come to the first major problem you're going to have here and this is probably a showstopper for most of you okay so and I, I will recap all of these at the end but the first problem is as of right now there is not a way for you to reset a password in a dollar. Okay. So if a user loses their password, there is a roundabout way of doing it on Postman. But in short, you will need an external application like a web app in order to reset the password. It's not terribly com complex if you are, um, technically literate and savvy, but if you are not a developer without any developer experience, I would probably say that this is probably one of the, that this would be a deal breaker for you, okay? Just being straightforward and honest, um, you'd probably not be able to be, get it set up so that you can reset passwords. I think they're gonna change that in the future, but as of right now, you cannot reset that. But that's not the point of our tutorial today. So we're going to have our login button here. And Adalo will, has already pre-built our custom actions here. All right. So we have our external login, sign up, and log out. So for login, what we're going to do is take our email from our email input and our password input. Okay. And then what you'll see is um, we do also capture, actually I should show it to you here. We do also capture the logged in users auth ID and user ID, okay? But that only works when they're logged in. Then we're gonna have a home screen. And I'm not gonna put anything on this yet, uh, but I will have this go to that screen. And what I'm gonna do is copy this. And this is going to be our sign up screen. We're going to change our button here. Let's change it to sign up. And we're going to call the sign up action. Okay. We're going to use our email input and our password input. Okay. Just put some buttons on here to link to these two screens because that is good practice.
Okay, so now those are linked. And to kind of show you just as a quick demo, so this is going to be a home screen. We're gonna add an icon here to log out. Okay, so let's just demo this. So on our login screen, we can use our user at email.com password and we can log in. We don't have anything here, but we can log out and we can go to our sign up all of my things on my computer get very excited about this. And we can create another user. Okay, now remember we can't use any of our other addresses because they already exist, but we can sign that one up. And we go here, we're not showing anything. We can go to our authentication and we can see that new user we just signed up. Now let's show some information here. So let's go to our tables and views, okay? I, I've already created a table here, and this is a table of countries. Okay, so we can see the name and some other information about all of these countries, um, what continent they're on, things like that. And we'll go to our API documentation, go to tables and views countries, change this to bash. And we're gonna show the key here because it will make it easier for me. And about halfway down, we have read all rows, okay? And we're gonna go back to Adala. And I'm gonna move this off of the sidebar a little bit here. And we're going to go to our databases You'll see we have no data to show, but we're going to connect to an external collection. So we'll call this countries. And now we're going to do that a very similar API call um, to what we have done before. And we're going to call this API to get all of our countries. We're gonna have um, a header here of our API key. And that is going to be this key. And we're going to have another header of our bearer. Now, here it's going to say that it's the same key as this. And technically, in some cases, you can do that. That is not good security practice, though. What you're going to do is you're going to use the external user's auth token. Okay. But we're going to use that as a test value, but this will instead limit users to only using secure sessions. If you're not familiar with auth tokens, um, you can search like JOT, um, JOT token. Um, it's a JSON web token. Read about it there. There's a lot of other things. It, it, there's too much information to explain in one video, but it's a secure way of validating a user for a period of time. We'll go in and let's test our API here. Great, so we've got a few things here that we were able to pull and see some of those countries, quite a few, and we can save that collection. Now what we're able to do is use a standard um, list like we would always do. So let's put in a list And we're gonna make this a list of countries. We don't have everything that you you have native in Adalo. That's kind of a key thing here. Some things you're gonna have, some things you won't, but um, you know, 
it, it's a different experience and you, you do have to understand that. But let's go in, let's make, let's look at our magic text. So close all these out. And we can see the name, the, the ISO codes, local name and the continent. So let's just put in a name and the continent. And I'll turn on this search just so we can see search bar at the top. I'm actually not sure if it'll even work, but let's try it. So first things first, we need to make sure our users authenticated. All right, which they aren't. So we need to log out. Oh, they actually are. Sorry, I was just uh, too fast on that. My computer's a little too slow right now. Let's see if this loads or if it wants to freeze. Okay, so it went out. So let's log back in. Okay, so we can see a bunch of these countries. Um, we can see the continent for where it's listed. And if we want, if we had another page behind this, we could click into that and see the details and um, actually use the current country. And let's see if this works. Like, let's, okay, that's cool. So that you can also search for um, you know, different countries. I'm currently sitting in Portugal. So that is very nice. And of course, then we would log out. Okay, that is basically the very short and simple version of all of this. Um, I know that there's a lot more. I'm going to make a very kind of rambling video after this about my thoughts on a lot of these different things and, and what works well and what doesn't. And then you can ask me any questions if you have them in the comment section below. Thanks.